Hello, and welcome to a little game called Islanders. You might have seen this around, but I wanted to do a quick little video on it just to highlight it because I think it's a pretty cute little uh, innovative take on the whole city builder kind of type of management game. Because why not? It's been a while since I actually made a video as well. Uh, I played it for a little while and it's surprisingly uh, surprisingly easy to just get a hang of and get into, and I would recommend this game as a game to play while watching a show, maybe, that you don't necessarily have to pay super close attention to, or maybe while watching a YouTube playlist or something. But it's pretty chill, I'm gonna do a new game and I'll show you what it's all about. Because I was watching a video on this uh, on the actual Steam store page, uh, that convinced me into purchasing it because, well, first of all, it's like five bucks, so it's super cheap. And second of all, usually, right, with these types of games where you where you build a little town and you make a little village for yourself, usually, you'd have to put out like little little wood cutters and and masonries and stone cutters, and you'll build up money and resources over time. And uh, when you run out of wood, you can't build houses until you chop down more wood, etc., right? Not in this one. In this one, you pick a pack. Pick a pack of pickled peppers. Uh, and you start out from there. So I'm gonna go, well, we have some trees here, right? So this is where the tricky part comes in. You gotta, like, assess your situations. Uh, I'm gonna go with lumber, because, well, it's the first island, and I think we'll do do okay. So you can see that the, the numbers are are based on what's in proximity to other things. So I want to build a lumber place, uh, and I want to make as many points as possible off of that place, but I have two of them. And if you hover over them, you can see that another one in range gives you negative six. So rather than putting one here and like getting a lot of points for one, I think I'd want to put one like off to the side, maybe like, maybe even over here, somewhere to get like, to get seven points, and then I'll put another one here to get... Maybe, maybe we can squeeze in 11 out of that one. And then I'll put this one, the actual sawmill, in the middle. So it'll, it'll uh, benefit from both of them. I'm gonna not put it here though, I'm gonna put it like off to the side, because... Maybe I'd wanna put another one up here. See, if I, if I squeeze one in here later on, I get 14. And I can still have one here that also gets 14. Clever, right? And bam! I unlock the next uh, tier of things. And that's basically all you do. From here on, I think I'm gonna go with... Let's get some farming up in this. Why not? So I'm gonna just squeeze this one in over here, like a little, little, little squeeze like that. That's a pretty good squeeze. Next tier, what do we do? City or brewing? Well... We don't have a lot of space first. I guess we could technically build a city down here, but... Let's save the city for the next island. Let's just do a brewing pack for now. Ah, see, we got another sawmill. Now, I would, if I would just place it next to the other one, that would give me negative 12. So the total would just be two. But since I left space up here, I can squeeze in another 14 out of the same two lumberjacks. That's pretty sweet, right? Uh, and then we'll place, maybe, we, oh, that's a pretty good squeeze right there. 12 out of that one. Uh, and I want, ooh, already I have another pack. Ooh, wait, let's see if we get, oh, a shaman. Ooh, and also more lumberjacks. Ooh, wait, tricky. Can we squeeze these in? Ooh, we can definitely squeeze in like a 13 one right there. Do we want to though? Yeah, I think that's the best we're gonna do. Okay, let's squeeze that one in. Uh, and we'll save the other one. Now let's see, a shaman, ooh. Ooh, look at this, I knew it. There's so many flowers and and temple or statues. Oh, let's place him. Now, where do we want the other one, though? We don't want him. Well, even though he gives us negative 13, we still make 10 out of it. But maybe we should, like, try to escape. Can I put him on this little island? <laughs> yeah, I could, but that gives me zero. Poor shaman. Wait. <laughs> no, poor shaman. How is he ever going to make it there? Look, if I put him here, then that's where... that This is... Now that that's the place where... Uh, where uh, Mr. Dursley takes uh, Harry and, and Ron and, and not, well, not Ron, Harry and Dudley and the, the family to hide from all the owl posts? Maybe we should do that. Or maybe not. Maybe we should just put him here and get 18 points instead. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm still a little bit, um, I'm still, I'm having some issues. Um, more than usual. Oh, the city's the only thing I could do. Fine, let's do it. Why not? Let's squeeze the city in. 
Uh, I want to build some of this hops fields, though. I can build them on the sand, right? No one's gonna judge me if I build hops on the sand. <laughs> that sounds like a weird... That's a really weird band name right there. Hops on the sand. Hops on the sand! And you're too late. That gives me negative 10, though. Ooh, maybe if I squeeze it in over here. Look it. If I just get out of range for the actual brewery. <gasps> 18. Bam! Another pack already. What do we get? A fountain fisher. Let's do a, a fisherman. Should we squ I mean, we could potentially now move to the next island. But while we're here, might as well squeeze in as many points as possible, right? So the shaman doesn't like the city centers, obviously. They're a little bit hipster like that. So let's try to squeeze in, like, maybe a city by the city by the sea. Uh, we'll do East Watch by the sea over here. There you go. And we'll put some huts and, and some stuff around it. That'll be nice. Some normal buildings. Buildings like buildings. For some reason, I, I find this the most uh, unrealistic part of this game, to be perfectly honest, is that people... In this game, people tend to want neighbors really, really close by, and I don't understand the mentality of that. But, there we go. Maybe they like living next to the brewery, though. I think that's that's a bigger benefit. Do we want to make some fishermen? Yeah, let's make some fishermen, get some points up. Just spread them around a little bit. Seven... Wait, there should be a good spot over here, right? Because I get close to the statue. Seven! 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 Twelve! That's more than seven. See, that's another thing that this game does. It teaches you maths. I'm out. Peace, bitches. Enjoy your, your tiny little island. I would not live on that island. There wasn't a single fountain. Oh. Okay, this is a little bit more gloomy, though. Oh, wait, but there's a gold mine. <gasps> hey, we could we could make something with that. Gold, potentially. <laughs> but I don't think we can make, like, sauce out of it. If I put... Look, there's another little patch here. Can I squeeze in a... Oh, it's too small for a wheel. <gasps> no, it's not! Okay, let's do it. Because, look, I'm just out of range if I build a if I build another wheel over here. Well, a masonry would be good since we did set up all this uh, all this stonework. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I'll want to build... Okay, let's see if I can make... If I can squeeze in one of these in without getting the negative eight, but the plus four. <gasps> oh, but I can't build it there. Ooh. Yeah, that's not going to be too perfect. Okay, fine. Let's do this then. We'll put it over here. Check it. If we are really, really sneaky about this, we can get the plus four of the wheel over there. And we can get double benefits from a mason wheel. Look at that. Two of them go into the same one of them. Amazing. And then we'll put the other one over here. We'll get one plus the statue. That's a pretty good deal right there. Um... Do we want to squeeze in, like, another wheel somewhere? Wait! If we can squeeze in another wheel, like, right here, maybe... Oh, no. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. <gasps> we can get double benefits! Oh, snap. Okay, that's pretty sweet. And then, we can squeeze in another wheel down here, and we'll get the three from that one without the negative from the wheel up there. Placement, people. Location, location, location. All right. Now... Are we ready for a city pack? Let's just make a little city. Sure! There you go. And some mansions. Mansions, they want to live close to the gold mine, don't they? Obviously. They want to get their, their riches on. Their britches full of riches. Is that an expression? Gotta get my britches full of riches. I feel like that should be an expression if it isn't already. Farming or lumber? Lumber. <sighs> the plopping noises? They satisfy me, potentially. We can... Oh, look at that squeeze right there. Suck it up. And double whammies all the way. So we want to make probably a farming pack by now. And... Ooh, shaman. Uh, do we have a good spot for shamans? Ooh, we do. Look out here, just so many flowers. Okay, let's do it. Flowers in secluded areas. That's what they want, right? 20, 33... 2033, the future. Okay, 33 is pretty good. Oh, let's do it. Whoop. Mm, all those cogwheels? Why do you make cogwheels? Why is that the thing that I get from this? I don't care. I want to build more houses, or do I? No, let's save them for now. 
Uh, and let's build a, a little windmill. Yeah, okay. A windmill close to the city center, so we get some some of the pluses, and then we'll squeeze in some of these. There you go. Uh, this is a pretty shitty world for in terms of lumber. Maybe we want to just lumber. Oh, wait, ten? This is not so bad. I think that's the best we're gonna go. Okay, ten it is. Wow, a whole. Ten wait, I got one hops field with this brewery. Man, who sold me this? Some con artist? I am colon disappointed. But at the same time, eh, we can live with it, right? Maybe we should put it down here. This is the most awkward spot for a brewery. No, let's not. You know what? I'm gonna screw these trees, and I'm just gonna... I'm gonna ju just gonna put a brewery right there. Yep, that's what we're going with. Okay, fine. There you go. Ooh, and another one of these. Let's slam it in right there. Wow! Bam, baby. So we can go to the next island, which would uh, benefit us, but I also kind of want to, while I have the ability, I want to make as many points as possible over here. Uh, so I'm going to keep going for a little bit and see if I can get to a gold mine. If I can get a gold mine in here, that's going to give us uh, uh, a good amount of points, you know? So let's see if we can squeeze some more some more power out of this, out of this place before we peace out. Man, this is tricky. This is a very tricky spot for a... Uh, for 26, though! Oh. oh! Whoa! Okay. Welcome to the next island. Do-do-do! 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 Do-do! Dude, this is really tricky. How the hell am I gonna do this? Look at this mess. Oh. Well, all right then. <laughs> Fair enough. Water plateau straight away. Ooh, Kai. Uh, well. <gasps> ah, nice. So you thought I was gonna say nine because that's what it said, but then I didn't say that. Okay. All right. Now, in terms of growing things, I think that you can't put stuff on. Ooh, you can put it on the green bits, just not on the. Oh, okay. I see now. Well, all right then. Then that means we can put a. Oh, wait. You can't even put a mill on the green bits. Oh, dang it. Fine. We can squeeze a mill in. Ah, uh, over there. Good millin. Good millin. All right, and then we'll just put some put some of these in around here, right? Just to get some of the benefits of this this greenery that we got going on. Um. Ah. Well. Ah, sure. All right, and some more houses, please. I want to put one house over here. Yep. 12, 12, 12, 12, 3. 9, 12, 12, 12, 3, 9, 12, 14! 9, 12, 12, 3, 14, 14, going 14, going 15, 15, going once, twice, oh, sold! Okay. Not bad. Can I get another green platform, please? That well, see, this is not the thing that I said that I wanted. Game? Oh, wait, we got another lumberjack, though. Four, three, two, one. Six! Yeah, okay. Kind of crap, but it's getting us to where we need to be. It's okay. I'm okay with it. Are you okay with it? I mean, you don't have much choice. It's me. I'm the one playing the game. I'm sorry. I wish that you could change things in my videos, but actually, I kind of don't. That would be very messy. I don't know how many people are going to watch this video. Like a couple of hundred? Imagine if everyone had... That would be like... I guess that would just be Twitch Plays. So the huts, they want to be close to the shamans. Uh, uh, and not close to like a bunch of... A bunch of corporate woodworking buildings. <laughs> that I guess they... They're, they're, they're like the, the, the groupies of the shaman. They're like a little bit, a little bit hipster. Like that. But at the same time, we have so many city centers here that it's sort of... It sort of counteracts all the negativity. Screw it, hippies! Welcome to the modern society! Suck it up! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, next up, another shaman. Should we squeeze him in out here? Hell yeah. Uh, another island plateau. I kind of want to make it here so that I can build more houses around the city center. So let's do that. Uh, uh, 14! Yeah, I think that's the best we're gonna do. We don't have a lot in, in range here. 14 it is. 
at least it takes us over the edge, right? Uh, and then we'll put some more houses in around here. But come on, join the neighborhood. This is Uncle Phil. He lives in there with uh, with the fresh prince. He's about to move in. He lives over here now, but he's gonna move up and up in here. Uh, in a minute. Well, maybe it's the opposite way around because this looks nicer. This has green places and a fountain. We desperately need. A oh shit! No, you know what I'm building? I'm totally building Lake Town here. Dang it! Here I am spending all my time and energy into making this a lovely place for people to live, and then all of a sudden, you know what's gonna happen? Smog. Smog's gonna happen. Smog's gonna show up, burn everything, and no, no, you know where they're gonna blame? They're gonna blame that one guy. The guy who isn't Orlando Bloom. God damn it, not Orlando Bloom. Why couldn't you have been better? Why did you do these things? You didn't, though. They were blaming him without cause, probable cause. Why were they blaming him? He just wanted to help them, you know? They were so rude to not Orlando Bloom. Poor, poor that guy. What was his name? Ah, can I squeeze this in anywhere? Anywhere at all? Anywhere at all that gives me any points at all? Oh, wait, over here? Eight points? Yeah, okay. <laughs> How do you farm that land? Ooh, a plateau. Poor hut people. Now they're just living in like a... It looks like one of those porta potty farms that they have on, like, outdoor festivity events. Festivity events. Is that the official name? Is that what they call it? Is that what the kids call it these days? Hello, fellow human child. Would you like to accompany me to a festivity event? Why, yes, mister. I would love to. Don't do that. If anyone ever asks you to accompany them, accompany them to a festivity event, do not do it. 25? <gasps> Is that the best we can do, though? I think so, because it needs a green place. 26! Hush my baby mouth! 26 it is. Oh, snap. Plus two already. Ooh, a tower! I don't know what that does, but let's get it. And a warehouse. See, I could have moved on to another island by now, but at the same time, I can make so many more points just by chilling out over here, max and relaxing. 26,000 points. Okay, let's do that. Look at that. Now we have a tower for the not Orlando Bloom guy to get up and shoot smog from. Man, I'm making this- this is canonical now. This whole place is canon. This is Lake Town. I was the one who done it. When people ask in legend, who done it? People are gonna go, that guy. The guy who didn't know the name of not Orlando Blue. Yep, that was the one. 33? That's pretty good. Zero is less than that. <laughs> this is what I've learned. See, people say video games make you violent and don't teach you nothing. But I've learned that zero is less than 33. Welcome to school. Oh, I got you. I got you in the end. You thought this was gonna be a fun, fun romp through the ages? Nah, dude. Educational video now. Alright, let's put another one of these in and then we'll bail. Or will we? No, I wanna see what the next part is. <gasps> a circus! Andy, he's here! I can now start my own Weta workshop and record another Lord of the Rings. <gasps> Cannon! Smeagol! He's back! Gollum! Okay, let's go for there. Why not? Go on, Andy. Record your motion capture. Revolutionize the world, why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you just revolution revolutionize the world? Is that too much to ask? Look, I'm gonna put it there so that there's like a little precarious gap and you have to like Aladdin jump in between with a little pole. You know, just in case you need to look cool for like Jasmine or something. Ooh! Wait a minute. If I build a market... <gasps> Did you see that point? Oh! 59! 61! These are good numbers. That's all I'm gonna tell you. 17. Uh, okay. Maybe. Just maybe. Okay, wait. 50, 50, 50, 50, 63. If I can squeeze in some more houses without messing up this place, we're gonna get so many pizzity points from that. Okay, let's let's squeeze in another shaman in the shaman town. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and some parks. Can I put a park in? Let's put a park in. Let's put a park in. 
Put a put a park in it for later. Oops. I'm just gonna squeeze some parks in over here. Why not? Eight points park. <gasps> Ten points park. And a cool 65 point 69! Ba boom! <laughs> Look at that. 69 cogwheels in the bank. I am now part of the cranky crew. Hey! A resort oasis. 23 is not so bad. Fine. I'm squeezing. Uh, I'm all about that squeeze life at the present. I said that I was moving on to the next island, but then I started squeezing it. Well, here we are. He started squeezing, and uh, uh, well, that was a downhill. That was a downhill battle from then on out. He never. He was never the same again. Once you start squeezing, you, you're. It's never a breeze in life. <laughs> The worst saying ever, but it is a saying nonetheless. Look it up. Do we want to bail now? The wall plateau? Why don't I ever get to bail? But now we can build cool wall plateau. Look at that. Yeah, all right. These are kind of cool though. I like these. Whoa, 16. <gasps> I like these wall platforms. They make me feel like I'm doing something cool. Something unprecedented. They make me feel like I'm a part of making a... <gasps> A roof for the people under there, and I'm happy about that. Seven, se ooh, look! Now you can now you can utilize these towers even more, right? Perfect. Ten points. Um, yeah, okay. Smack, smack dab right there in the middle, like like a crazy person just came to town and said, "Put a house there," and then instead of going, "What the hell? You're crazy," we just did. All right, I'm done. I'm done with this land. See you later, island. Peace. Whoa. Okay. Well, this looks much lovelier. Look at this. Oh, so colorful. Okay, let's get some... <gasps> oh. Let's get some statues in here. I wanted to get woodworkers, but okay. We need to be a bit strategic about these so that they don't overlap each other, but still cover as much ground as possible. So let's see, if we put one here, we'll cover this whole, this whole section. Uh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Lumber. Oh, dude, this place is like a lumber party. Hell yeah. Check this out. <gasps> 28 points, dude. That's pretty slick. Partner. And 25. I'm okay with that. <gasps> uh oh. Oh no. Phew. We do. Okay. We do have beaches, so we can get brick industry as well. I'm voting brewery for now, though. I want my people to be hella drunk. <laughs> I don't want any. So this is not a sober island, okay? No sobriety. Okay. Let's make this place potential gold city. Uh, and then this place is just like normal town. Gold city and normal town. Where do you want to live? Gold City sounds a bit pretentious to me, doesn't it? I don't think that I would want to live- Maybe Gold City is one of- it's like LA, you know? You don't want to live there, but it's one of those places that could be fun to visit on occasion. If you want to feel spoiled and you want to just, like, get, get away from it all. You can go to Gold City and just feel- live like the other- the other half for- for a cool- for a cool little trip. But at the same time, enough is enough, and you kind of- you, you need to bail at some point. This is the rich people town where you don't want to be, but you want to see. Don't be, but come see. That's the slogan for the resort, for the for the trip to the town. Don't be, come see. Ah, I, what a nice beach you have there. Would be a shame if someone came and placed wheels of power all over it, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Yes, Captain. I'm not a captain. I'm an entrepreneur. All right, let's keep building up a uh, shanty town over here. What about the rich people? They need to. They need neighbors also. They need to have someone to like show off their Christmas decorations to and compete with in terms of being the fanciest. Okay, there you go. Shaman, please. And can I get a gold mine anytime soon? No. Farming pack. Yeah. All right. I'll farm. I'll farm the hell out of this land. Oh, just you wait. Just. You. Wait. I'll do it with my one patch of farm. Thank you, game. Okay, fine. 
brew that shit, yo. Uh, ooh, shamans. Where do we put those? Where, where was I saying shamans would go? Ooh, out here. <gasps> 44 for a shaman, man! Okay, that is tantalizing, but at the same time, maybe we want to squeeze in another guy. <gasps> okay, so check it. If we do it like, like so, we can get a cool... Ooh, I saw that. 20, right? But then also 44. Instead of building it here and obstructing each other. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm cool with this. Another wheel, please. Let's add more to Shantytown. Mmm, come join us. We might be shanty, but we are full of love and hops. Regrettably, we haven't yet learned how to make beer, but we do enjoy eating the raw hops for the fun of it. We make it a eating challenge, you see. Alright, let's squeeze in the cool fountain over here. 34 for a fountain isn't too bad, to be honest. Do you guys want a fountain over here in Shantytown? I feel like you deserve a, a, a little bit of, a little bit of, you know, somewhere to, somewhere to congregate, somewhere to chill, somewhere to meet up and have your picnic lunches, or just somewhere for Ezio to assassinate people. Okay, there you go. 25 for a fountain isn't too bad. Where do you want to live, Hutman? 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 Flamio Hutman, put your hut down and take a load off. Boop. We have a nice little world going for us here. Still no gold mines though, but I mean, we'll get there maybe in the end. I kind of want to bridge the gap between these two worlds if I can. I kind of want to spread towards each other a little bit. I feel like they should start to get to know each other. They, they should start to like embrace their neighbors and all that stuff, you know? Maybe if we can put a tower, well, it's not going to really encompass both cities. Maybe we should just hold off on the tower until I have, like, one major, major town. I think 20 is the best we can do for now. 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah? Anyone want a bit higher? No, okay. Let's save it. Huts, though. Mmm, well, 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 well. Where do we- Ooh, a cool 14 could work. Ooh, 18, though. Yeah, I'll squeeze one in. The trick with this game, the, the tricky part and the part that I enjoy, I think, is to find out or figure out places where- not only is it beneficial in terms of points to put a thing down, but it's also aesthetically pleasing. Like, you want to get both best of both worlds, right? Aha! Finally, the gold mine! Okay, good. So we got the gold mine and we got the market. Okay, these are the things that I wanted. Let's see if we can find a good spot for, let's see, the market, first of all, is going to need a lot of space. So let's think this through. Where would we want to put that? where it can benefit the most peeps. Uh, I do have a platform. Maybe you want to put down a platform somewhere? Can I put a platform like <gasps> right there? Let's try that. Just out of curiosity. Can I put a... Oh, look at that. Now we're encompassing both of the towns. Okay, 40. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a cool 40. Now we want to put a gold mine next to the gold source, uh, the doy sun. Let's see if I can squeeze it in over here. No, not really. Okay, well, I did leave some space over here for just this purpose. Well, let's put that down, and we'll get uh, 35 plus 15. See, if you just put it down somewhere, it's negative 20. So even though you're on a gold mine, it only gives you 15. But, because I have a lot of, like, buildings here, a lot of, a lot of rich people live in here, they really, really, really enjoy these, uh, these uh, jewelries. So I want to put down jewel because a jewelry gives you negative 35. So you need to compensate for all of that. And I don't want them to overlap each other. So I'm going to put one down. Uh, if I put one down here, you can see that I'm clear to like around here, right? It still gives me 35 plus. Uh, but I want to get the gold mine in it, in its it, like influence circle. So over here I get 66, which I think is pretty good. And I still... I would still encroach on this one though, which gives me 35, if I get another gold mine, that is. So, nah, it's a trade-off. Do I want to get a 66 for it? Or do I want to try to... Do I want to try to avoid... This, this influence? Well, I think... I think we can squeeze one in over there. Oh no, but it would still... It would still encroach. Ooh, wait, 51 though! I'm gonna gamble. Let's go with a 51 rather than a 66 and hopefully I can squeeze another gold mine in over here without without influencing that one. Maybe. Man, I'm enjoying my little village here. Look at this. This looks like a very peaceful village to live in. 
I like it. I also got a tavern now that I want to squeeze in somewhere around here to give them their added... Well, to make use of all this hops. Hopefully I can, like... Oh, 59. 45 is pretty good. Well, what was that? 40? I saw something... 47. Oh, it's not as good, though. 33, because it's going to use all the houses and all the hops to make make booze. I think 59 is a good one. Let's plonk it down! Mmm, 59 whole cogs. Uh, do we want to put a circus in? Let's put a circus in some weird place. Can I put a circus in a weird place? Will you judge me if I put a circus in a weird place? Please don't. Uh, 12. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, I blazed the last thing sort of will and Uh, we're moving on. Next island. Let's see how far we can go. Oh, snow. Okay. Oh, and a gold mine. Okay, fine. <laughs> I guess we know what to prioritize. Wait, do I have any beaches at all? Ooh, this is one of those places where it gets a little bit tricky. Okay, so there's no sand here. Because this is a holy mountainous area. So, no brickyard for me, please. I'll take only the lumber. And then I guess we'll brew some shit. Where do we want to brew some shit? Do we want to brew some shit over here next to this thing? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like let's do that. Oh, I didn't get any hops field at all, though. <sighs> if I can squeeze in another brewery here, look it. I can put some hops down here and we'll get double hop benefit. Yes. Okay. Now we're really getting into like a, a tier system here. The, the shanty town is elevated above the rich people. So it's like, oh, but we're higher in status. Oh, but we're higher in location. <laughs> so it's going to be like a civil war about that. And we're going to make a movie about it. And then it's going to start a cinematic universe. I am okay with these plans. Okay, let's put another city center down. You have to make a, a journey to get to the shaman. Uh, and, and, and he'll tell you all about what lies beyond in the depths of the ocean. Maybe. Or... They'll just tell you that you're gonna have two kids, three kids, and they're all gonna have gold on their heads, and you're gonna die. But that depends on whether you're Cersei or not. Hmm. This world is a little bit of an uphill battle. There's not a lot of space to squeeze things in. Uh, it's a lot of... It's a messy world, okay? It's a messy world, and we're gonna have to make the most of it and deal with our actions. I think maybe I can squeeze a tower. Ooh! Okay, we have a cool 32 coming in there at least. Boop. There you go. Now you can now you can sink your progress from somewhere, Cassandra. Go for it. Warehouse or huts? <sighs> Warehouse, please. We'll hide a shaman in the forest, and then we'll have one out here. This will be Luke. Luke Skywalker lives in that one. There you go. Go out there and be be the antithesis to the character that you've built up over the years. This is probably gonna be it. It's not gonna be enough to cap us off. We didn't get the gold mine in time. No warehouse, no! Oh, the end has come at last. Boop. Oh, do, 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 do. Well, well, well. And so, our reign comes to an end. But that was Islanders. And then, you just go again, forever and ever. It's a cool game, and it's very much one of those games that you can take at your own pace, and you can just click around in and try out different packs of, of new things for your island. And you sort of learn as you go what is needed and where it's needed, and uh, I enjoy it. It's like a $5 game on Steam if you want to go get it for yourself, Link is in the description, as with all games that I play. But I hope you've enjoyed this look at Islanders. And I'll see you around the streams, maybe. Farewell.